hi guys welcome and welcome back to a new video um if you are new here you are most definitely welcome my name is Nontlantla. i hope you will enjoy your stay over here and welcome to all our new family members and um, now we really appreciate you guys joining us and we hope you are enjoying your stay as well to everyone that has been here forever thank you so much for coming back for yet another installment so today we are doing a vlog um i'm opening this vlog because i want to go to a pawn shop in st Curion. i don't have anything specifically that i'm looking for and also i don't have the budget for it but i just felt like going because there you can always find things for like 30 rand 50 rand you don't really have to have a lot of money um and then what we are also doing i want to go to canon store in south downs um i don't know if they're open today because when i asked them last time i asked them about a public holiday they said they don't open on public holidays which i believe even on sundays but i'm hoping that they are open today because today is saturday so that i can do a code on how much they would uh, cost me to fix the lens for this camera because you can't adjust it now it's just dark the way it is um and i'm not comfortable with that because there are other shots that need me to zoom in and zoom out but anyway that's what we're gonna do at this point i am just going to i did my skincare already i am going to um go and eat i've prepared eggs and uh, mushrooms i'll go eat quickly and then we are going with everyone like all of us we are going to centurion and then i will talk to you guys when we get there hopefully we find some few things that i can show you guys um yeah i think that is all i think that's all don't remember guys there is a giveaway that is um going on i am hoping that by the time i'm posting this vlog it is still on it's closing on the 19th of may yeah it's closing on the 19th of may so please uh, do go and um participate i am hoping that i'm going to be able to post this vlog if i'm posting it on the 19th which is a sunday the day i post i'm gonna make sure that i post it in the morning so that the whole day you guys are able to participate on that so yeah guys let's talk a bit later Ta I quickly made myself some breakfast which was just mushrooms and egg with brown bread and I'm also gonna make my coffee so today I'm making cappuccino from Chagas I got this brand from Chagas it was the first time I'm buying it because cappuccino has become so expensive um but it's nice I really enjoyed it um I think I'll be getting this brand uh again so yeah let's make this breakfast so I can go to the shops. Hi guys, I am done. I'm done eating and I just changed. Um, I was trying to put on my jewelry but it's not so I'm gonna ask my husband to help me. So yeah, let's go. I will talk to you guys when we get to the shop. Hopefully we see some few things that we like and that I can also show you guys. Yeah, I think that is that for now. I'll talk to you guys when I come back. I have received questions about uh, this shop. So this is the pawn shop, guys, that I always go to. When I say I have thrifted an item, you must just know that it's coming from this shop unless I have stated otherwise. So there is the number on the screen, and it's in Littleton in Centurion. Um, so I started from outside. They've got chairs. Some of their stuff is um, vintage um they do have like modern stuff but most of their furniture is vintage even if you go sell something they pay more if you, it's vintage so yeah let's quickly go inside and now that we've seen what they have outside and inside we will come to buy this i don't know it's a corner chair whatever you call it the wood is nice but i just don't like this the style of it and this is the type of furniture 
that they have like your very very old furniture and like i've said here and there you would find like those tv stands you would find like your modern stuff but like what you are seeing now this is very vintage so if that is your style like you get a lot of that and this is a stone i really love that table but i didn't know how i would use it and then they also have this lamp which is second hand and this couch as well this couch was huge but it was a little bit dainty so it needed some tlc and this bench over here guys i loved it and i had to just take it home i wasn't sure how i was going to style it i wasn't sure where i'm gonna put it at, at my house but i had to just get it and um yeah i'll make a plan and they also have like kitchenware glasses baking trays baking whatever a vase i bought my my vase I think from like two vlogs ago, um, I got it from here. I think it was like 20 rand. So yeah, they have a lot of stuff and it's nice to visit them every now and then. Sometimes you find them with like a lot of stock, but they have, they've got a fast moving stock because whatever you see this week, you might not find it in like next week or in like few days. That's just how they're not busy, but they sell a lot. So yeah, let's go now to... Um, south down so after the shop we went straight to south downs mall and we did a, a, a lot of window shopping but i'm gonna take you guys through and the sad part is that canon was closed so canon is on the left hand side of what you are seeing now and then the center which is where i went for window shopping is on the right hand side but canon was closed because it's saturday so yes they only open monday to friday they're closed on saturdays they're closed on sundays and they are closed on weekends so let's go ahead so i started window shopping from this shop that had very nice paintings and because of the paintings that i saw from outside i went inside and when i went inside <laughs> i found that there was an auction so they were selling these paintings on auction and also they had like beautiful carpets even though i didn't really like the carpets because it's one of those that are like bright colorful with a lot of colors in one carpet I didn't like that style, but yeah, it was very interesting for me to find auction for, for items like this. And I said, just like, you know, a few minutes to just see what's happening. And I tried to bid, but they beat me to it. So I didn't really get what I tried to bid for, but they really have like nice um, items. 5,000 and start from here. Come on, people, just start. I'm going to give you 5,000. Thank you. Six against you, but seven. 8,000, 8 and a half, 9, 9, 5, 10, short, 10 and a half, number 8. Look at this lovely painting from the artist from Kapisa and Kosi. Uh, that is such a lovely artwork. I'll start it for you very low. 2,000 rand, give me 2,000. Come on. Who's going to go with two only? Let's start very low for you. Come on, people. 2,000 rand to start a bit from the painting. You're looking at the letter to the board. 2,000 even says there. 2,000. We have got four, four and a half, five, pretty close to five, five, six, so six and a half, number 22. So, yeah. From the auction, we went to the store and more. This shop, guys, is a plug. If you live in St. Curion, please go and check this uh, store. So, first thing, I saw this um, a citrus juicer and I had to just get it because it was only $29.99 and I needed it. And I am telling you guys, I'm enjoying it. So, I had to just get it, especially for my lemon because you guys know I love um, tea with lemon. So, I use a lot of lemon. But yeah, the shop has got very nice prick practical cute um little items for you especially for your kitchen uh yeah i think most of the stuff is for your kitchen but yeah even these baskets i love them i love these baskets they are so expensive so if i want to get a set i would have to like buy them a uh, few items per month for few baskets per month until i've got the number that i want but they really have like beautiful stuff and their prices are not bad they are competing with uh, most of the normal shops like your mr price home your at home stores their prices range around those uh, prices as well 
So I looked at their kitchen where their fridge organizing items like they've got beautiful, beautiful stuff and their shop is arranged very, very well. And also the uh, uh, floor staff was very helpful, like they were visible if you wanted um, to ask questions. Um, I think there was an item I was looking for as well. I was looking for Moss. Um, he was very um helpful but even though i didn't get it and there is another mirror that i loved but i don't have a space for it in my house so yeah <laughs> and yeah even that black those black baskets i loved them i felt like they were a bit pricey but i mean who am i and i guess that's the price that things are going for these baskets were two sixty nine each yeah i don't know if you need five like you're gonna have to pay a lot a lot of money but yeah the shop is in south downs mall south down center whatever you call it um but it's called south downs and it's close to it's on the side where there's clicks so it's between clicks and mr pry no no and pick and pay so yeah this is another vase guys i don't know about this vase but i like it but i just don't know how it would look in a house like yeah it's kind of <laughs> it's very weird to have this vase in your house but yeah, they've got nice decorative stuff. So we walked through the shop, we've window shopped, and like there's a lot of stuff that I thought to myself, I'm going to go back and get, especially like deco pieces and kitchen um, organization um, items. I definitely think that I'm going to go back and check it I out. I mean, look at those candle holders look at those candles like the packaging like it was just it's it's just too cute yeah the shop is just too cute guys if i tell you like yeah i love this obviously because i also have it <laughs> but i didn't smell these candles specifically these ones but i just loved the the packaging of the candles but yeah guys so that's the first shop that we window shopped at and yeah and then next door to it is Continental Linen, guys. Yo, Continental Linen, guys, is going to finish your money. You know, Continental Linen is going to finish your money. From their kitchen towel to their face cloth to their luxurious sheets to their... Like, this shop has got beautiful linen and quality. But let's go ahead and window shop. So I started from the kitchen side and I loved their uh, chopping boards and I also felt like they were very reasonably priced. The only thing I didn't understand is if you buy a pack of three chopping boards that are the same design, same size, like make it make sense. I was even telling my mom that maybe we can buy three and then divide it because it didn't make sense. Why would we have three chopping boards of the same style and steam everything like make it make sense and then we moved to the towel department look at those luxurious towels they feel so soft they feel luxurious like guys i'm telling you these towels they they look so good i could not stop imagining how they would look in my home but your girl is broke at this point the only thing i can do is buy with my eyes and then i moved to the these cushion, cushions because i also liked them they were nice and big but i didn't like the material that much but it doesn't hurt but to shop but i had to just go back to those towels because wow these towels guys wow you are taking hotel you are bringing a hotel to your house literally that is just how it is so let's go ahead and shop and then i will talk to you guys a bit later
am back home. Um, yo, Canon works from Monday to Friday, so they were closed, obviously. And I honestly don't know when am I gonna be able to go there again. Hey, during the week it's very tricky. I don't know when, but perhaps I'll ask my husband if he gets time off during the week to go and um, uh, fix it for me. And then at Continental Linen, I got this. Not Continental Linen. I forgot the name of that shop, honestly. But I got this. The one I showed you guys. I vlogged it for you guys. Um, so I'm sure you have seen it before this. Uh, what is it? Okay, the name of the shop is not here. But yeah, I got this juicer. Especially for lemon. You guys know I take a lot of tea uh, with lemon. So I am going to use this for that. I like it because it's a glass this side. I don't like the green, but what can I do? And I love that this is a lid. So you can keep it in the fridge as well like this. So I love this. And this was only 30 rand. Yeah, it was 29.99. And like I said earlier on, we dropped the the bench with the guy but he didn't take the whole bench so what he said he took it inside with the place what do you call it the workshop and he removed the the lid only which is where the sponge is that needs to be covered and we decided on the color and the color it is so much pretty i love it and i think the body i'm going the the wood part i'm going to paint it black and then with that color it's going to be bomb so we left that and we came back with the other thing but yeah guys for now it is that i will see you guys tomorrow um if there's anything that i'm doing later today i'll just take you guys with but i doubt i just want to sit and edit the vlog for tomorrow and go and upload it yeah so let's talk tomorrow hi guys welcome and welcome back it's another day and it's a few days later i couldn't finish off this vlog last weekend as i have promised because the gentleman who is doing my bench the upholstery on my bench um was unable to do it same day or same weekend and it was ready on monday but i couldn't go and fetch it because i had work commitments so today is saturday and i'm quickly going there to fetch it and then when i come back i want to decorate it um with you guys i am going to insert here or here i don't know whichever side i'm gonna insert inspo that i got from pinterest of what i want to use that bench for i'm gonna decorate and show you guys i am planning not to buy anything or any new items i am going to work with items that i have around the house um yeah so let's go and see if we are winning and then i will show you guys the final look of the bench so these are the contact details of the guy um if you are interested he is in sunnyside um the street name is uh, Steve Bigo, just before Sunny Park. So I want to collect. Here is the top of the bench, and this is the color. And he's done that black part, which was never there before. I really, really <coughs> love it. So let's take it home and decorate. <laughs> 